Hello everyone, this is Eric Hamilton, the Internet Guru. Today we're going to talk about HTML images and how to put nice images on your website. So let's start off by doing a little demonstration of how we actually embed an image into a, an HTML site. You'll see that we have the, the image command, we've got a, a border. The image command is the IMG command. Right here we have a designation, an element, uh, border equals zero, but we can easily change this to border equals one, do a refresh, and it makes a nice little thin border around our, our image. Also you see the SRC equals uh, the images and the image path location. But real quickly, I change the border to 10 and it makes a, a thicker border around the image. We can also change the, the dimensions of the image by changing the height and width. So we're going to make it smaller here, 150 by 114 pixels, and it makes a, a smaller image for us. So at the top here, this next demonstration, I have an internal image. And then also at the bottom here, I have a, an external image. You see this is an internal image. This just sits somewhere on my web server. But the, at the bottom here, I have an, an external image that simply links in an image from a different website. So let's, let's go into a little bit of detail about external images. What I want to do here is I'm going to make a new paragraph here, and I'm going to demonstrate a little trick of mine of how we, for instance, let's say for instance we wanted to have the, the Yahoo logo on our page, but we wanted to access it from Yahoo site. So what we want to do is, I'm going to go to Yahoo right now, and I'm simply going to view the source of the Yahoo site, because I want to see where the image is. But first, I want to find out the name of this image. So I do a, a right mouse click, and I do a save as, and I see it's, it's called y3.gif. So I know that the name of the Yahoo logo is called y3, y3, y3.gif. And then when I go back and do view source, I'm going to search for the y3.gif in the source HTML. So when I do that, I find it here. And I see here, let's see, well, I haven't found it yet, but there we go. I see here that they have the image, and I see the source is here sitting somewhere on one of Yahoo's servers. So all I simply do is I can simply copy this IMG command, so I'm going to do a copy, and I'm going to go back to my little website here, and I'm going to paste that code, that source code, that is accessing the Yahoo logo from Yahoo's site, and you'll see that it's sitting on Yahoo's web server here by the URL that I'm highlighting, and when I click refresh, the Yahoo logo appears. And all I simply did was I looked at the source of a, a different site, saw how they were bringing in that information, and I just made a link to it. Simple as that. Next, uh, background images. So I can uh, manipulate the background image by using the, the background command, and this image right here is the, the background image. A very simple uh, styles command to add a, a background image. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about alignment of how to align images top, bottom, and in the middle. You'll notice here that um, we've got some text and we've got an image right in the middle of the text. And the first one is a line where the bottom actually touches the text. You see I have the word bottom highlighted. And on the right hand side, you'll see that the bottom is aligned to the text. The next one here, um, you'll notice that I have the middle aligned. A middle command and you'll see that the middle of the image is aligned with the the adjacent text and then the last one here the third one rather I'm using the align top command and you'll notice that the top of this image is aligned with the text and of course this is important if you're doing some formatting with your website and you want the text to align with the various images uh, that you are, are using Next, we're going to demonstrate a little bit about the left-right alignment. Um, with the left-right alignment, you can center your text to the left and to the right of your various images. Or excuse me, left and right of the various text. So here, I am uh, demonstrating uh, the, the right 
alignment command and then I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, you notice that the top one here is uh, left aligned and the bottom is right aligned and you'll see here um, that command in action. Align left here again aligns the image to the left and then align right is the image on the right. And again, this is very useful if you're maybe setting up your personal blog and you want it to look paragraph style with an image um, that's there for you to use. Here we're just doing a, a little quick overview of, uh, of sizing. Um, what I have here is the first image is 20 pixels by 20 pixels, exact same image, but I just simply changed the parameters. I go from 20 to 45 and then make it 90 at the bottom, a little bit larger. And that's a way for you to to, to manage that, the, the, the sizes. So also we have the ability to use, uh, one important thing is the Alt command. The Alt command is used for browsers that have a problem resolving your image. And again, it simply allows you to, allows the browser to know that it's, uh, it gives a description of the image. So it's a, a very useful thing to have images as, as links. So here we have an image. You see that the IMG with a command with a border and source. And all I simply do is I wrap the text, or excuse me, wrap the anchor around it to make it a linkable image. And that's how you simply link an, an image. So I can change the destination of this image that I'm clicking on from an internal page to Yahoo. And if I click on it, it takes me to Yahoo's site as opposed to linking to an internal link. And the last thing that we're going to cover here is image maps. So an image map is just a simple clickable map that takes you to different pages or websites based on where you click. And what I can do is this represents the Sun, Mercury, and Venus, this image. And the first picture here of the Sun uh, we designate the coordinates of where the map is clickable in pixels and then we, when we click on it, it takes us to the sun. Uh, the second here uh, is the is a representation of Venus. The area shape is a, is a circle. The coordinates are 90 down, 58 in as far as pixels with a pixel radius of 3. And then when we click on that, that will simply take us to Mercury. And then on the, uh, the last one here, let's go ahead and click on that. And the last here is a, the area shape, of course, is a circle with the designated coordinates and a radius of 8. And of course, it takes us to the venus.htm page when we click on that. And again, this, this is just a, an example of how to set up a clickable, clickable map. You just basically designate certain parts of the, the map is clickable and you designate where you uh, want the HTML site, where you want uh, people to go once they click on it. So I thank you for, for staying tuned with us for this demonstration of images. You have a great day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.